What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. It is Sunday, the 20th of June, 2021. Is Blackjack upon us? I don't know. I almost made a video this week, but I didn't see any direct uh, correlation to anything that happened this week that's saying Blackjack's going to play out over this weekend. As always, as everybody knows, the Blackjack date, 621, 622. Uh, Jericho date, 621, 622. One thing I would like to point out, though, there's a lot of people who... Uh, seem to think that President Trump's going to be re-inaugurated by August or something like that. Interesting, in, in the later half of Jericho, my old schoolers wonder, will, will remember this, there was, uh, when, the, when the government's being put back together after the nukes and all this stuff went off, uh, there was discrepancies about who's president. You know, the, the country was divided up into sections, and this person was president over here, and this over So is that reference to the Donald Trump situation? I don't know. But, you know, is this the year? Blackjack is 21. That's all I'm saying. I'm, you know, I'm got an eye out for all of it, people. Anyway, let's get into the report. As always, the first link below will take you over to the uh, Patreon post. There's plenty of news. Follow along with me. Let's get into it. Uh, WHO says Delta variant now spreading to 80 countries and keeps mutating. The, it's in the United States now. Be advised, the Delta variant. Uh, face mask forever over in the UK. They're talking about soft isolation and travel quarantine is here to stay. Please tell me your thoughts on that. Back in the United States, Biden warns of potentially deadlier. Delta virus urges public to get the vaccine. Put a link to that. Hundreds of Indonesian healthcare workers, however, contract COVID-19 despite vaccination. Dozens hospitalized. How can this be? Put a link to this. Uh, the Daily Exposure says Delta variant uh, shows more people have died. I'm sorry, official data uh, shows more people have died because of COVID vaccine in six months than people who have died from COVID-19 in 15 months. Is that true? Put a link to it. I don't know if that would make this make sense. CDC removes 150,000 deaths from its VERS system vaccine genocide. Put a link to that. Just giving you the links, people. I got some tweets here. A uh, 19-year-old Simone Scott was excited to get her second dose of the vaccine. Now her mother is arranging her funeral. It's not our fault these people didn't listen. Listen to what this lady has to say. Now, I can't verify this. This is just a lady making a video, but she seems to think that over the next three years, all of the healthcare workers are going to have to be replaced because something's going to happen to them. I don't know. I'll put a link to the video. And I wanted to direct your attention to this tweet from the American Red Cross. They were answering a question. Someone had asked them, uh, are donors are donors question whether they have the COVID vaccine uh, before donating? Look at what the American Red Cross, this is their official Twitter account response. We don't label blood products as containing vaccinated or unvaccinated blood as COVID-19 vaccine does not enter the bloodstream. Does not enter the bloodstream. I have a question in. What's up with all these stories about blood clots and people having strokes and things like this? In fact, here's one. Sky News. Why is Sky News reporting that airlines are addressing the problem of blood clots by recommending people vaccinated not fly? Please answer that. The American Red Cross would have you think it has nothing to do with your blood. I got a couple more in the Joe Ben this week. We got Joe Biden's daughter claims she's sexually molested as a child. I don't know about that, but I do know about this. Joe Biden needed flashcards to remind him to blame everything on Trump at the G7. How embarrassing it is we have a president who can't remember, can't walk a flight of steps. Over to financial news, how major U.S. stock in Texas Fairno. Well, I did not get my Dow 35,000 this week. In fact, the Dow Jones fell 533 on Friday to 33,290 for the week. The Dow's down 1,189 points. Put a link to that. What's going on in the markets? Uh, massive food shortage. Now, this is actually a few weeks old, but I just wanted to remind everyone, if you're not stocked up, get stocked up. We're already seeing what's going on with meat and stuff like that. We know what's coming. Joe Biden goes global with $40 trillion. Build back better for the world infrastructure plan. What is he talking about? He's talking about the new world order. In fact, Glenn Beck put something out. Uh, here are the Great Reset hints within Biden's G7 presser. I'll put a link to that. America should become a nation of renters. They don't want you to own anything. It, wasn't there something about the, the World Economic Forum talking about by in so many years the people won't own anything anymore? Here's a Bloomberg article on that. Uh, Eldon Musk seems to agree. He's now renting a $50,000 house in Texas after selling real estate holdings. I wonder what he knows is coming. Let's see. The IRS denies tax exemption status to Texas religious group because uh, prayer and Bible reading boost Republican Party. Can you do that? Put a link to that in the Epoch Times. Wells Fargo cancels this lady's uh, bank account. She's got something to do with America First. Put a link to that. Be advised they're canceling bank accounts. One million dollar jackpot. Maybe you can win the jackpot. Scholarships, COVID, vaccine lottery announced in Louisiana. More COVID vaccine lotteries. Be advised. Zuckerberg, speaking of COVID, uh, group funnels six figures to Wuhan lab partner. Gain of function advocate. What's going on there? I don't know. Put a link to that. 
fellow Laura racist, uh, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot declares uh, racism a public health emergency, diverts $10 million in COVID funds to address the problem. What does COVID have to do with... Okay, Mrs. E.T., put a link to that. And I got one more at the bottom. Uh, corruption concerns mount as Hunter Biden's artwork to go for sale for a half a million dollars. Look, Dad, a pretty crack pipe. Over to New World Order and Police State News. This is where I stop and ask you to share this video. There's important things coming up. As I predicted a year ago, Springsteen on Broadway returning, but not for guests who haven't had FDA-authorized vaccines. Don't have your vaccine, you can't participate. We're going to see more and more of this. Foo Fighters to reopen Madison Square Garden, but only the vaccinated can attend. Fans are furious. We'll see how many of them go get the vaccine to see their uh, favorite band. Governor Newsom out in California. Be advised, vaccine verification system coming very shortly. How are we going to verify that these people are vaccinated? I mean, because of HIPAA, we can't really ask them medical questions and things like that. But we're good. We don't worry about it. We're going to have a national system pretty soon. In first federal ruling, this is important. Vaccine mandates. Judge sides with Houston Hospital dismissing claims from, from staff resistors. The judge said the hospital wins. <laughs> Okay, big news this week was the uh, domestic terror. Attorney General says domestic terror is fighting for supremacy of the white race. Greatest threat to the United States. Put a link to this. Justice Department considering recommendation that Congress pass domestic terrorism law. Of course, these domestic terrorists aren't going to be allowed to have guns. Joe Biden rang in statement by President Biden on national strategy for uh, countering domestic terrorism. Also, the Biden administration issues gun confiscation order guidance on states on how to create red flag laws. What do you want to bet that if you're branded a domestic terrorist that you won't be able to own a firearm under all this? I'm just taking a guess here. Let's see. Breitbart says Biden administration to ask Americans to Report potentially radicalized friends and family. Not the first time we've seen this kind of bullshit. Put a link to that. Uh, Black Lives Matter. I, I'll report some radicalized people to you. Black Lives Matter movement wants to bring down the whole of Western civilization. But they're all heroes. Put a link to that. Speaking of that, we got a 700-pound statue of George Floyd unveiled ahead of Juneteenth. Juneteenth. What the hell does that even mean? It's just another day to divide the American people. That's all it means to me. And I got one more at the bottom in the immigration news. DeSantis commits Florida commits Florida law enforcement resources to secure the southern U.S. border. Over to World War III news. How did the Putin-Biden thing go at the G7? Putin says there's no happiness in life after his meeting with Biden. No happiness in life. Is it that bad, man? Put a link to that. Uh, embarrassing nightmare. Joe Biden brings big print cheat cards with him to sit down meeting with Putin. I just can't talk about how embarrassing this is for the United States. How must we look into our adversaries around the world right now? World War III fears as U.S. military moves to ahead with sensitive plans, um, secret, secretive plans to encircle China with troops. Put a link to that. We got the Iranian ship. We got an update on them. Once believed to be headed toward Venezuela, change course. U.S. officials say that from Politico. We got Israeli tanks destroy outposts used by Iranian proxies on the Syrian border, says report. Uh, what do we got here? At least one dead uh, in COVID outbreak at U.S. Embassy Kabul, Afghanistan. Not World War, III, World War III related, but adjacent. North Korea news. North Korea's Kim vows to be ready for confrontation with the U.S. Black Jack hit there. I don't know. Probably not. He says a lot of crap. Uh, on a side note, Kim Jong-un admits North Korea's food situation is dire. That from Yahoo News. Uh, Pentagon weighs, propose, weighs proposals to send... Uh, dozens of troops back to Somalia. What's that about? Yeah, let's start a new war. Uh, gunmen in Mexico back on the uh, back over here. Gunmen in Mexico steal seven million dollars in ammunition headed for Texas. What's going on there? Uh, let's see. Uh, Pentagon works to sharpen definition of extremism. We're more worried about extremism than we are world uh, world stuff going on. Uh, Biden military West Point cadets faced with solitary confinement for refusing COVID vaccine. Seems a little extreme to me. That's how it is when you sign on the dotted line. You have to listen to a throta. Over to uh, Earth changes in 2012 news. We've only had one six-point quake in the past week. That was on June 16, 6.0. Uh, let me drop down to five. I know we got a lot of fives going on. I'll put a link to the earthquake recap data. Didn't see too much on volcanoes this week. Did you feel the shake? It wasn't just you. This was in eastern Indiana. There was a rare earthquake, 3.8. Put a link to that. Did you feel it? Didn't feel it here in Missouri. Uh, Mercury soars. Big news this week, especially here in St. Louis as well. 100, 100 something degrees. Mercury soars. 128 Death Valley amid scorching heat wave. It's hot. In fact, Texas emergency officials are asking all Texas residents to reduce electricity use immediately. Yeah, we know it's like 150 million degrees, but would you mind turning your air conditioner off? Put a link to that. What? <laughs> Musk says Tesla will now accept Bitcoin as crypto miners use more clean energy. Make up your mind. Put a link to that. Uh, speaking of energy, we got U.S. assessing report of leaked Chinese uh, nuclear power facility. What? 
like we need more nuclear power problems in this world. Uh, this is a follow-up from a few weeks ago, the cable car that crashed. We now have video of cable car accident in Italy released. Kind of graphic, be advised. Uh, back home in the United States, a man is crashed his car because a cicada hit him in the face. More cicada doom this week. we got to ban cicadas, man. They're killing people now. Live coverage, SpaceX launches GPS satellite to the U.S. Space Force for the U.S. Space Force. Uh, docking success after six hours launch. Uh, I guess the Chinese docked something to their space station. I'll put a link to that. A couple more here, lawmakers on House Intel Committee receiving classified UFO briefings. When's the UFO news going to come out? Come on, man. On the edge of my seat. And speaking of USOs, Chime Telescope detects more than 500 mysterious fast radio bursts in the first year of operation. I can see it now. It's probably like E.T. Like sending microwave signals our way, trying to push the Earth into the sun. That planet's a lost cause over there. Anyway, over to strange and bizarre news. Let's get into this. Enough fentanyl to kill San Francisco. The new wave of opioid crisis kills San Francisco population four times over. That's a lot of drugs. Is that why in San Francisco this is happening inside Walgreens? People are just walking in with trash bags and taking stuff and walking out. Put a link to this madness. We got uh, Winston Smith protest. Woman killed after car drives into crowd. Apparently he drove into this crowd at like 100 miles an hour. Put a link to that. Uh, children narrowly missed in the Bronx sidewalk shooting. I think I had a little video here. Let me see. This, this guy's just shooting this guy with these kids. I mean, look at this madness. Uh, we got axe-wielding, potentially uh, partially naked woman arrested in Knoxville, Walmart. Put a link to that, people of Walmart. Meanwhile, uh, South Dallas Asians have had enough. This lady got hostile and tried to go behind the counter. The Asians wasn't having it. Put a link to that. Uh, we got employees at a Lake City Ace Hardware in Seattle tried to enforce the mask mandate with a bat. Get out of my store. No, no mask, no service. Put a link to that. Look at this. Man passes out while driving after COVID vaccine almost kills two bystanders. Look at what the co look what the vaccine is doing. Look at I don't get the vaccine and drive a car. What's the matter with you? That should be on the questionnaire when you fill it out. Scientists make male rat give birth. <laughs> Just a matter of time for guys are pushing kids out of the penis. Manchester, uh Manchester's lobster, a diver survives being swallowed by a whale. I was completely inside. You don't know how lucky you are. Even Thanksgiving is canceled now. New Jersey school uh, district yanks all how holiday means because it might hurt their feelings put a link to that and i got one more at the bottom uh lgbt xyz uh pimping sith grade teacher she she goes off bullies a boy because he wanted some unicorn cupcakes apparently couldn't have any i'll put a link to that i think she lost her job by the way for all other news please check my favorite videos there's tons of fresh news over here uh trudeau confirms canadian government working on certification of vaccine status program a uh, viral video shows Biden is scolded by France. A uh, new Delta variant. There's something over there on that. Uh, there's another video on Blackjack over there. For those who don't know, just Google Operation Blackjack. You'll find that stuff. Ring of Fire. I think that was from last week. Anyway, check out my favorites. Lots of fresh news over there. Thank you to everybody who continues to put out content. You guys are doing awesome work. I got some shout-outs this week. North Korean Defector says, Even North Korea was not this nuts after attending Ivy League school. This lady here uh, from North Korea, I don't know a lot about her, but I watched her video. It's about seven, eight minutes long, but she goes in to talk about how the United States comparing things that are happening here to North Korea. You want to listen to what she has to say. Shout out to the Trump One banner makes appearance in Switzerland during Biden-Putin meeting, but who's holding the banner? Osama bin Laden's niece. I'm, I shit you not. I will put a link to that. Shout out to the people on TikTok and Twitter who roasted Cuomo. Chris Cuomo asked Twitter to name times he's denied facts he doesn't like and gets maliciously ripped apart. Yeah, shout out to everybody who ripped Fredo apart. And shout out, you got to let me play this one video. It's only 40 seconds long. Shout out to this reporter. The world would be such a better place if we had more reporters like this. Outages across the region. Fox 26 reporter Ivory Hecker is live in Montgomery County to take a look at that aspect. Listen to this. Thanks, guys. That's right. Before we get to that story, I want to let you, the viewers, know that Fox Corp has been muzzling me to keep certain information from you, the viewers. And from what I'm gathering, I am not the only reporter being to, subjected to this. I am going to be releasing some recordings about what goes on behind the scenes at Fox because it applies to you, the viewers. I found a nonprofit journalism group called Project Veritas. It's going to put that out tomorrow, so tune into them. But as for this heat wave across Texas, you can see what it's doing to AC units. Shout out to her. I know she probably lost her job over that. But if we had more reporters like that, if we actually had real journalists, not just fake assholes who read the teleprompter to tell America what the New World Order wants them to hear, all of you journalists out there who, who, who parrot the New World Order, and that's all you do, you investigate nothing. You are all enemies of humanity, and shout out to that woman. 
or at least standing up and saying something to a mainstream audience. That was awesome. Anyway, that's all I got for this week, guys. If you like the report, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you think it sucked, it's the worst of YouTube. You never want to see it again. Please rate the video, though. It helps it move around. I appreciate it. You can also follow me on BitChute, Gab, Facebook, Twitter. All my links are at the bottom. You can support me on Patreon or directly with PayPal. I am totally demonetized by YouTube because they don't like what I'm talking about, right? I'm not advertiser-friendly, so I appreciate any support. Please tell me your thoughts. Is Operation Blackjack going to play out here in the next few days? I don't know. I don't see any direct uh, any direct evidence that it is. However, with, with the Trump presidency, with the forced vaccines, with the war on firearms, you know they took the firearms and, and Operation Blackjack in Jericho. Watch the second season of Jericho. You want to you you know what I think is going to happen? Watch the second season of Jericho. That's where we're headed. I think it's still on Netflix, maybe. Uh, but but the CNN, all week long, all month long, talking about, oh, there's 500 million mass shootings in the United States. They're constantly pushing that. So, you know, take the guns. They're constantly pushing the vaccine, the, the whole Trump thing. I don't know, people. I don't know where we're headed, but I have a feeling it's going to be not a good place. But as always, take care, stay safe, remain vigilant, keep your eyes open, be ready for anything. If you wake up and see that shit going on, have your bug out plans in place. Have your plans ready, whatever you're going to do. Because it could happen in an instant. You guys take care. Stay safe. I love you very much. Have a good week. I will see you on the next one.